Uh, we're going to wrap it up today uh, talking a little bit about some things that are, I think, a little bit misunderstood uh, about lightning. I know for one, you'll sit there sometimes on your back porch or maybe you've been sitting on your lanai and you'll hear the thunder. you are like, I didn't see a flash of lightning. What's going on here? Uh, this is what's called cloud to cloud lightning. Normal lightning or what we at least think about when it comes to lightning is called cloud to ground lightning. And I do want to preface all of this by saying all lightning will produce thunder. So you're always going to get thunder when there is a, uh, a bolt of lightning. So this cloud to cloud lightning is just what it sounds like. It's when you have a lightning bolt that that goes from one cloud jumps to to another cloud. And when that happens, just sometimes that the, the visual to be able to see that lightning or the flash, you're just not able to see it because the cloud, you know, is obviously obscuring your view. Now, thunder typically travels, depending on the atmosphere, somewhere around 12 miles from the actual storm. And that right there, that point is why lightning or, or heat lightning isn't a real thing. Typical thunderstorm, you know, you produce the lightning uh, from the cloud down to the ground. Now, if you're about 60 miles away from that thunderstorm, your line of sight is actually going to take it so where you're only able to see the tops of the clouds. In which case, especially at night, you're then seeing the illuminated cloud tops. And that's what we reference as heat lightning. But really, heat lightning is just regular lightning. And you're just too far away to be able to hear the thunder. Again, that thunder uh, only travels about 12 miles before it's muffled and it, the sound dissipates. So uh, heat lightning, really no such thing. It's just regular old lightning. Uh, and you're just not able to hear the thunder.